essentially, give me one second here. I got a little ahead of myself. Hey, question. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I might be getting ahead of you here. No, no, go right ahead. We have this Horseman and IQ3. Sure. And the configuration file seems like I can have a configuration with just the Sportsman, mm -hmm. and it will pick up the IQ3. Sure. And I also have a configuration file for the IQ3. Okay. On the same computer, and I can change them within each other. Yes, you can. <laughs> but sometimes I do goofy things. And Sure, that's a very good question. Okay, the IQ3 display can be used by itself. So we have a configuration file to be used by itself, but when you use the IQ3 or any one of our displays with a data logger, you have to use the data logger configuration file to perform all your, all your dash changes. Okay. So always, always use your data logger config. In your case, use the Sportsman configuration file. Yeah. That way everything's stayed together because your configuration file um, with the data logger is, the data logger is like your brain. It's, it's the mother of everything here. So you always want to keep that. Can I get rid of the IQ3 yes. configuration? Yes. Yes. I can get rid of it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So here's the sportsman right here. So anybody has a sportsman. So again, after you load the software, select the configuration file. You're going to get to this window by clicking File, Open Car Configuration to open it up. Now, for any of you guys that run a Sportsman, and if you add a couple extra sensors, um, you will need to perform the next following step is add in new sensors. For those of you who bought the V300 with the sensors already from the factory, we're going to do this step for you. But there's going to be times down the road where you're going to add a sensor to your system, and now it's on you to read it in. So. Just to recap here, um, we're going to add a new sensor now to this V300 system. So this is, this is the same process that's going to take place for any V300, IQ3, um, uh, G2X, any of this, st this step right here is all going to be the, exactly the same. All of our data loggers are very consistent on this. So essentially, right here, let's see. I've opened up the configuration file. Now there's, there's many different ways we can do this. Um, the very first deal is I'm going to hook up the serial cable from the data logger to my PC here. I'm going to turn on power and I'm going to install the new sensor. And what you can do at this point is click edit and select read or you can hit the quick start or the quick bu um, button right here. This is our kind of our toolbar. And you can hit the read button. And now right here it's asking you, confirm, do you want to use the configuration file? Now I want to talk about this a little bit real quick. If you have multiple data loggers, um, you're going to want to make sure that you don't default your main configuration or your configuration file you're going to have to make sure that you want to say select another configuration file if the writing in red at the top is not the one that you're dealing with. So if you have a sportsman and it comes up with this one, you need to make sure you say select another configuration file so you can select a sportsman. Um, but if you only have one race pack, I'm going to highly advise for you to click the top button in this screen because every one of you will get this screen here and it's asking you, do you want to always use this configuration file for everything you do or do you have multiple configurations like multiple data loggers you're using on one laptop? Then you want to say select another configuration file. So in this case right here, I'm only dealing with one data logger today. So I'm going to say go ahead and make the writing, the configuration file in red my default. So I'm going to click on this and now it's reading the system. And so what I'm going to do here is uh, read in an oil pressure sensor. So real quick, this is what we call the VNet module. So this blue VNet module is basically a computer. So each one of your sensors that you get on your race pack has this little blue module. It's a computer that tells the system what it is. In this case here, it's an oil pressure. 
and it knows it's programmed to have a 150 pound transducer on the end of it. So that's stored here. So as soon as I plug it in on the system and I read this thing one more time, it's going to populate on here, already pre-programmed, I'm in oil pressure. 90% of all of our stuff that we send you off the shelf is pre-programmed for you. You call us up and say, I want to add oil pressure, fuel pressure, boost pressure. I send it to you, you plug it in, you hit this read button, automatically syncs it in, it's ready to go, you don't have to do anything else. You're, so it's very, very simple. So right now I'm going to add it to the CAN bus port. Now if I read at any time and it gives me an error message that says I'm not, it's not communicating, please check your connections. You can always go through here to the very top of the screen. Click on settings at the very top and scan the COM ports. Your computer has 256 ports it possibly could use. And if you don't know what it is, then I want you to come over here the very first time you use it with it connected to the data logger and powered on and hit settings and scan COM ports. It's going to run through right now. It's going to scan all the ports and right at the very bottom here is the success with COM5 OK to select this port. So that's a tool that you can use at any given time that it gives you an error message during your read process that says, hey, I'm not connected, I'm not seeing the data logger. So just to recap that real quick, click on settings, select scan COM ports, it automatically will scan your system, find your correct COM port for you. So here's our basic config. I'm adding an oil pressure sensor to it. I've got it plugged in to the data logger right now. I'm going to hit the read button. All I got to do is that. Now I'm scanning the whole system. And when it's all done here, so say devices read successfully. Now, and OK. So this right here is saying, after you finish reading it in, I've detected you added in a new sensor. Would you like to set up live telemetry? Um, you could at this point say yes or no and continue on. I'm going to cover live telemetry in a little bit. So I'm going to say no right now. But if I hit yes, it's going to bring me to the live telemetry window. And I can select anything I want here on this list to go live with. And I'll cover that in a moment. So if you notice right now, right here, we've now added oil pressure. So again, everything is pre-programmed from the factory for 90% of our stuff. If I right click on it, I have all the calibrations ready to go for you. It's already labeled oil pressure at the top. The name is oil pressure and it has the correct sensor selected 150 PSI. So essentially, again, you have nothing that you really, from most of our sensors, that you have to do. Just plug and play and go. So now I set up my configuration. I've added all the sensors I wanted to add. And say I want to see it live. I want to fire up the car and look at everything live. Or I want to just double check my sensors, make sure everything's working properly. So Excuse me. Same thing. Um, after you do your initial read of your sensors, you need to set the data logger up to stream it live. That's this V300 SD module. All your settings for the data logger is in that channel right there. When I talk about the settings, I'm talking about how it starts recording, how to stream live data, how long to record for. So if I right click on that, now any of you guys that have the G2X, the G2X Pro, um, you have the IQ3 loggers, anything like that, this is the same window, this is the same channel that you would use to set up your live telemetry, tell it how long to record for, for um, like that. The 90% of the time, or majority of the time, anytime you get a data logger, we preset all your record parameters for you. But this is where you could go in yourself and change it. 
Um, some guys like to record off of engine RPM. Some guys like to record off of GPS. Some guys like to record off of a button. So this is where you would do this in this window. So again, just to recap that real quick, at any one of your configs at the very top left, that's this channel right here. In this case here, I'm using a V300, so it's going to say V300 SD module. So if I right click on that here, I'm going to get this window. So this box right here in the center, and I'm scrolling up and down, that shows all the channels in my configuration for this data logger. The box to the right hand side that is blank right now, that is what I'm going to tell it to stream live, to do a live telemetry session. So for instance, I want to see, want to see logger volts, Oops. and we'll just throw up oil pressure. And so to do that, I just select what I want. In this case, I want logger volts. I'm going to go ahead and hit the arrow. And I'm telling it now I want it to see that. Same thing with oil pressure. Say, like, if I want to see everything, I don't care. I just want to see everything. I can hit the all bu button pointing to the right-hand side. And it throws all the channels in that box. Now, one thing I want to tell you about, this box has nothing to do with the data logging at all. Whatever is connected at, and it's enabled, it will data log. This is strictly just live telemetry over your serial cable. So once you get it all selected, you're going to hit send configuration. This is basically telling the unit, um, this is what I want, and you're programming it. So now I just send that back to the unit, is essentially what I did. I hit OK, hit OK again. And now I'm going to save it. OK, so the next step is I want to go live. I want to see the data live right now. So what I would do is there's two ways to do it. You can click on telemetry. And oops, excuse me. You can click on, well, we'll just do the shortcut because I forget where that one is. Oh, there it is. Sorry. If you click on file, you can do new telemetry session or use the toolbar and hit the satellite icon right there. So the second button down on the left-hand side toolbar is our live telemetry button. If I click on that, it left says click. left click. Left click on everything except when you try to reach a parameter, then you right click. Left click is always going to be the commands to execute everything. So I click the new live telemetry button right there. It's asking me, do I want to go live right now? I'm going to say yes. And then give it a moment here. And it will be live. So right now, I'm looking live at the data logger. So for instance, real quick, if I bring up logger volts, you can, well, it's hard to see. But there's a red line going through there right now. Here's my oil pressure. Well, obviously, it's going to be sitting at zero because I'm not running a motor here right now. So we covered reading in the sensor. We covered um, setting up your live telemetry. We covered starting your live telemetry. Now, to stop your live telemetry is very simple. I can come up to telemetry and select stop or I hit the red button on the left side toolbar here to stop it. So I'm going to do that right now. Question for you. Yes, sir. Now that you have that one that you configure, do you have to reconfigure every time you want nope. to? Nope. Or you can just, once you have your. Once you set it up, you're good to go. Save it in your configuration. Anytime you set up anything in your configuration file for your data logger, make sure you hit save. If you do not hit save, you will have to set it up every time. Okay, so basically at that point right there, um, you can start and stop by using the buttons on this left-hand tool side toolbar. This is the green light that started. Once it started, then you can use the stop button, or you can click on telemetry to run or stop it. Any questions so far? 
Good. Okay, so now I'm going to close out the file. It's very simple. I can click on File and select Close, and that will close out the file. It's asking me if I want to save. I can choose to save it if I want to right now or not. In this case here, I'm just going to hit No. Okay, so we've set up our logger. We added in sensors that we wanted to. Now we're at the track. We go out, make a pass. Got some data now on the SD card. So every one of our data loggers now, for the most part, are SD card based. So your computer will have probably an SD card port. The problem is majority of our SD cards have a cover on the back side of it, except for your IQ3 guys. This cover is to keep it inside the data logger and it's fastened in there by a lock. Tire shape, card harmonics could rattle the card out in those particular bigger cards. So what we do is put this cover in, secure it inside the data logger and lock it in so it can't come out. So what you want to do after you make a pass, you extract the SD card from the data logger to download the run. All the files are stored on the data logger, or excuse me, excuse me, on this SD memory card. 90% of all your laptops today